Effective listening is such an important part of having successful relationships, but it's a skill that a lot of people struggle with. I think that this is partly because there are so many little skills that go into being an effective listener that sometimes we just don't realize there's a problem with our own listening habits. For example, have you ever been talking to someone that was clearly not listening to a single word you were saying? What kind of question is that? Of course you have. Everyone has at some point. And a lot of times when we're listening to someone talk, we find ourselves constantly murmuring things like, "Uh uh-huh, or right, or in some cases, just grunting. I had a roommate back in college that was really guilty of this. Sometimes I'd purposely say something ridiculous just to see if he was even listening, but more often than not, I'd just get a grunt in response. And while that may have been better than just him staring blankly at me, it didn't really make me feel like he was listening. So how do we make other people feel like we're listening to him? We use something called empathizers. Empathizers are short, simple, and supportive statements that show the other person that we're listening to them. Unlike the uh uh-huhs we often find ourselves using, these responses are complete sentences that not only make you come across as more articulate, but they also encourage the speaker to continue with their story. An example of this would be, That is really exciting, Dave. You can further enhance this effect by adding a follow-up question like, what did he do next? And you can take this technique a step further by fine-tuning your empathizers to match their speaking patterns. Many communication experts believe that each of us sees the world through one of our five senses a little bit more strongly than the other four, and this phenomenon manifests itself through our speech. For example, someone who saw the world through what they hear more so than what they feel or see would use phrases like, that has a great ring to it, or that sounds good to me. Whereas a person who saw the world through the sense of sight more than any of the other senses would use phrases like, I see what you mean, or I can't picture myself doing that. However, most of us will use phrases that suggest the use of many different senses throughout the day. So how do we, as effective listeners, handle that? The key is to correct your empathizers to match the part of the anatomy that the other person is talking through at the time. For example, when the speaker says something Something like, hey, with this plan, I can see myself losing 20 pounds by the end of the year. Since the speaker is primarily using visual references here, you would want to say something like, I see what you mean. You really seem to have a clear picture of how this is all going to work out. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe for future updates. I upload videos every Friday covering various social skills like this, as well as tips on how to be more productive and how to make money online. Thanks for watching.